Ever wondered why you might be missing out on the subtle signs of flirting? Well, you're not alone. Flirting signs can often go unnoticed, especially by older men. Perhaps it's due to evolving social norms or a generational gap in understanding these signals. Or maybe, it's simply a matter of not knowing what to look for. Regardless of the reason, it's important to understand these signals to connect better with those around you. So, without further ado, let's dive into these intriguing signs. The eyes, they say, are the windows to the soul. Now, let's delve into the language of eyes, a vital aspect often overlooked in the art of flirting. You see, our eyes have a unique way of expressing our feelings that words sometimes fail to convey. Eye contact, for instance, is a powerful tool. It's like an unspoken agreement between two people, a silent conversation of sorts. When a young lady holds your gaze for a bit longer than usual, it's not by chance. It's a clear sign of interest, a subtle invitation for you to engage. Moreover, frequent glances your way, even when she's across the room, are not random. They're intentional. She's trying to catch your attention, to communicate her interest in you. These glances are like invisible threads pulling you towards her, beckoning you to join her world. Eyes speak louder than words, don't they? So pay attention to them, for they might be telling you a story you wouldn't want to miss. Physical contact can often convey what words fail to express. The power of touch is a fascinating aspect of human interaction, and when it comes to flirting, it's no exception. It's important to note that we're talking about subtle, non-invasive touches here. The kind that are fleeting, yet leave a lasting impression. Imagine a light brush on the arm during a conversation, or a gentle touch on the back while navigating through a crowd. These gestures may seem innocuous, but they're often laden with meaning. They're a way of establishing connection, of saying, I'm comfortable with you. It's a form of communication that transcends words and dives straight into the realm of feelings and intentions. So, the next time someone lightly touches your arm during a conversation or gives a gentle pat on your back, pause and take a moment to consider what that touch might be saying. Remember, touch can speak volumes about intent. A conversation is not merely an exchange of words but also emotions and intentions. It's a dance of dialect where tone and content can speak volumes about the underlying sentiments. Let's talk about playful teasing. It's a classic sign of flirting. It's a way of creating a light-hearted connection while showcasing wit and charm. A playful jab here, a sassy remark there. It's all part of the game. Next, compliments. Who doesn't like to hear something nice about themselves? A genuine compliment can be a clear indication of interest especially if it's about something more than just physical appearance. It shows that they are paying attention and that they appreciate you. Lastly, showing genuine interest in the conversation. If they're engaged, asking thoughtful questions, and actually listening to your responses, it's a strong sign of flirting. They're investing in the conversation because they're interested in you. So listen carefully, not just to the words but also the underlying emotions. Actions indeed speak louder than words. And when it comes to the intricate dance of flirting, this adage couldn't be more accurate. Body language is a powerful tool of communication, often revealing more than words themselves. Let's delve into the realm of nonverbal cues. One clear sign of interest is when a person leans in during a conversation. This subtle movement shows that they're genuinely interested in what you have to say. They want to close the distance between you, both physically and metaphorically indicating a desire for a deeper connection. Next, we have the fascinating phenomenon of mirroring movements. This natural and often subconscious behavior is a strong indicator that someone is attuned to you. If a girl subtly mimics your gestures or body language, it's a good sign that she's engaged in trying to establish rapport. Lastly, pay attention to open body language. Uncrossed arms, maintained eye contact, and a relaxed posture are all signs of openness and receptivity. They suggest that she's comfortable in your presence and open to getting to know you better. However, remember that these signs are not definitive proof of interest. They're merely indicators, and they should be read in context. It's also crucial to respect personal boundaries and understand that everyone communicates differently. So, next time, pay close attention to these nonverbal cues. Who knows? you might be missing out on an exciting opportunity. 
To sum up, flirting is an art that communicates through subtle, often unnoticed signals. Let's quickly revisit what we've unpacked today. The silent language of the eyes, the understated power of touch, the artistry in conversation, and the nonverbal cues that speak volumes. All of these are key indicators of flirting that often go unnoticed. Remember, understanding these signs can open up a whole new world of connections. So, keep your eyes open and your mind alert.